All right, thank you. In reference to the high capacity magazine ban, I hear a lot of testimony that in states that have these bans, that um, you don't have a lot of violence or mass shootings, that is not correct. As a matter of fact, some of the most high, uh, high capacity rounds that have been used in school shootings across the world came out of shotguns. In Russia, an individual was able to kill 19 people with a shotgun. The round does not, or the magazine capacity does not determine the amount of damage that can be inflicted. This law has been found unconstitutional by two courts in California. The ninth decided that uh, to overturn those decisions, and this is now headed to, state, to the United States Supreme Court. There is no evidence that this type of law is going to decrease the violence in the state of Washington, none whatsoever. We have not been able to stop the flow of fentanyl across our borders, and that particular drug is killing more children in this community and in this state and in this nation than guns. If we think that we're going to get ourselves out of this problem by banning magazines, you're wrong. The way we get ourselves out of this problem is to enforce our laws and make it painful to commit gun crimes. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Uh, Representative Cram, please, briefly. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that wonderful testimony, Sheriff uh, Nezovich, and I'll be brief because you answered already the question that I had. Thank you. That's even better. Uh, Representative Clippert, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Sheriff Knesevich, um, as a law enforcement officer, I routinely practice changing magazines, so do many civilians. In your uh, experience, could you uh, would you believe that people who ha do, in fact, practice changing magazines rapidly could change a 10-round uh, magazine quickly enough to uh, uh, mimic a high-capacity magazine, so as having there be no difference between the two? And better. The revolver a six shooter revolver properly tra practiced, you can exchange uh, and reload that faster than you can almost a magazine or at the same time. Again, it is not the magazine, it is the skill of the shooter and many of these shooters do practice. Mass shooting is happening at uh, a frightening level and much of that comes from gang and drug activity. The day we start dealing with those issues, you will see the gun violence in this country go down. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you Mr. Uh, Chair. Thank you, Ranking Member, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Sheriff, welcome. In your professional experience, will a policy like this prevent a criminal from using a high-capacity magazine? As I just testified, there's no way you're going to keep high-capacity magazines out of people who want to commit these type of crimes. We can't even keep drugs out of the hands of our kids. And you think you're going to keep high-capacity magazines out of their, their hands? These, guys, these type of laws will not work. And if you look at the polling that is out there for law enforcement CEOs, every year a poll is done. And law enforcement CEOs, I mean, chiefs and sheriffs, do not support these type of laws. 